All right, yo. All right, you guys. I'm headed into the workplace to see Mr. Charlie. To see if Mr. Charlie let me get a piece of his sandwich. Get a piece of the pie. It's here, Slappy with Slappy Adventures. Come along for the ride. Yay! All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Ride with me. <laughs> it's I'm gonna tell you something before I left the house man I'm telling you a doggone frog hopper jumped up on me man you said what what is a frog hopper uh oh might be a frog hopper jump up on me now a frog hopper storm is when that daggum comes in so daggum hard and fast it dumps a whole bunch of water on you really 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 quick right and I'm about to get wet y'all I'm about to get wet. But anyway, this is Edgemore Road going to the job. And everything in my bones told me, don't you dare ride that bike to work. <laughs> everything that I know about riding and trucking and just living said, you're going to get your panties wet slapping. Doggone it, and I'm just going to have to have me some wet panties because I'm out here. I'm out here. But you can see it's already rained right here. And either I'm running away from it or I'm running into it, but you can see my windshield's getting pummeled right now. I am riding the full wing. I do not have my rain gear on, and hopefully I won't get soaking, soaking wet, but i got to change the clothes at the job. But that's not the topic that I want to talk about today. The topic I want to talk about today is do you guys baby women riders? Let me repeat myself, just in case you didn't hear me. Do you guys baby women that ride motorcycles? Well, I ride with a whole bunch of women. And I'm going to tell you, first of all, I love women. And I ain't talk about it in the bad kind of way, because I do love women that way too. But I love women because women kind of brings you a calm to the storm. They're not all egoed up and uh, testosteroneed up. You feel me? Some men could be, I can't even say the word, testosterone filled. My bike's the bigger bike. I got the bigger motor. I got this cam. I got this. Boom, boom, boom. I got, you know, this big stereo. Women, they, they just ride, man. And like I tell women a lot, they kind of got a leg up on men riders. Because if you get a woman that's rode behind a man for a lot of years, you kind of learn as you watch. You ain't going to see too many men riding together where that man behind him is learning how he is doing his clutching brakes and all this kind of stuff. So, even though a man may not be teaching a woman, but she's learning as she listens, she's learning as she watches, just like we all do. We all learn, we all should learn as we listen and watch. So, they kind of got a leg up, especially the ones that went from being a backseat rider to riding, uh, to riding uh, their own machine. And what I mean by that, I don't care if it's two wheels or three. I don't care if it's two wheels or three. Uh, you know, they get hot when it's hot. 
they get wet when it's raining. You know what I'm saying? They get stopped in the same traffic stops. So I, I don't discriminate on two wheels and three wheels. I've got a lot of faith. I got a lot of, uh, not really faith, but I got a lot of uh, newfound respect for uh, uh, Can-Am riders dealing with Bumblebee. And now uh, Paparazzi, Lady Smooth, Little Egypt, Little Mama. Uh, you got Sheila. And now you got Becky and, and uh, uh, Silverback, I call her, and, and then Megan. You got a lot of women, especially around my area, that's riding three-wheel Can-Ams, riding the, the can the can of mams, I call it. So, do you baby the women when they ride with you? Now, I don't. I don't look at, as a man rider, as a female rider. I look at riders. Everybody falls up under that rider category. Either you a good rider or you're not. And, that, and you got men that falls on that knot. And just because you can ride a bike and make it go down the road don't mean that you're a traveler. You know, to be a traveler, you got to be able to dig them, you know, handle some of this stuff yourself. One thing about being a traveler, if you're going to travel in a group, you need to be able to get along and not be so pushy or everything has got to be your way. And if it don't get your way, then you're out here with your lip poked all out. Now you got everybody either feeling sorry for you, mad at you, or wish you hadn't came. Right? So, uh, John Thompson's old lady rode with us to... Uh, uh, is it Dorinda, Dora, Dora, uh, Thompson? Man, you can't get no better passenger than her. Man, she was, I forget how many men, 10 men. She's the only female, only passenger. And she got along with everybody excellent, man. As a matter of fact, on Father's Day, for breakfast, she bought every, is it breakfast or lunch? She bought everybody lunch. You know, just real good people, man. And I ride with a lot of good folks. You know, Lady Love, you know, she rides a bunch of miles with Humdinger. You know, I got a lot of respect for women riders. and But they do bring a little bit of calm to the storm. You know, a lot of men that's got any kind of sense about themselves, they'll kind of conduct themselves a little bit differently when they're around women. And that's, and that's fine. You know, sometimes there's a place where, you know, the guys will get together. It's sometimes there's a place where the girls will get together and do a girl ride, a girl trip. But when we all get together uh, and ride a road trip, you know, it, we be mindful and respectable. And uh, most time, if the women are happy, the men are happy. So I don't have a problem riding with men or women. My problem is riding with assholes. <laughs> I don't want to ride or travel with no more assholes. But every trip, there's always one. It's just as long as you ain't that one. That's the main thing. So, uh, do you guys baby women when you ride with them? Or do you treat them as equals? We don't slow the pace down for nobody. We don't, uh, you know, stop and whatever, whatever you think you might need to do. For a woman, we don't do that. We we just we ride our ride, and they ride theirs. And the and the main thing, they don't want you to do it. They don't want you to do it. I had a buddy of mine, Timmy. He used to ride with his old lady. They they never traveled, but they just run around town. And he'll run up behind people and run up behind cars and try to get in between them and you know and uh, try to tell her you know which way to go and don't do that. Come over here, and do the, you know. And had her a nervous wreck. I said, man, you need to ride your ride and focus on what you're doing. Leave her alone. She's fine. But you're going to make her make a mistake because you out here trying to dictate how she moves. When you on that bike and you by your damn self, it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. That's you and that bike. Can't nobody that going to pull your strings and try to tell you which way to go, which, which way not to go, or how to do it. They shouldn't. But some of these men are overprotective, and they do it, then they have those women just nervous as can be. And then when they get by themselves, they just seem like they're just so calm. They don't have to deal with somebody trying to micromanage their movements in their trip. 
So, please like, share, and comment. And let me know what y'all think about what I just said. We got a trip coming up. And I believe that we may almost have just as many women riding on Can-Ams than we have men. And i tell you something else. Well, I was going to tell you something else. I lost it. Oh, oh, yeah, here it is. Those Can-Ams will dwarf. You know, we used to pride ourselves on go wings on... Uh, how far we can go on a tank of gas. You can you can forget that with a can of ma'am. Them new can ams with that 1340 motor, I guess is what size it is, that 1340 motor and that bigger gas tank. You try to not gonna go tank for tank with one of them. Look at that right there curve. If you try to go tank for tank with one of them can of ma'am, them new ones, they'll run, you, you'll be on the side of the road before they will. I'm not sure how far they can get on the tank of gas, but I'm telling you right now, they, they are out they are out to a gold wing. Eighteen hundred no, I don't know about them new gold wings. I don't I can't really say to that. But the new gold wing uh motor is small uh, the, the tank is smaller. Uh from what I understand, BG winging it, uh you have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think the new gold wing motor shit, I keep saying motor. The new Gold Wing fuel tank is smaller than ours, but with all the technology and the seven speed or the new transmission, if you got a DCT or a manual, they get the same amount of fuel mileage as we do because of the, the extra gear. They don't have uh, the overdrive and all that. If I said it wrong, please correct me, but I go back to the Can Am. The Can Am still will run a Go Wing out of gas four ways on. I'm not sure how many miles they can get. Look at that boy taking that curve. I hear you, buddy. And here I go taking that same curve like a champion. But anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Slappy. Boom. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like this.